Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is part 6 of the self-driving car simulation using convolutional neural networks. In this part, we are going to apply some pre-processing techniques to our images and create a batch generator for the training. So let's get started. Okay, so our next step is basically pre-processing of the image. So this was step five. Now, step five is basically, we are not going to apply it right now. We will apply it during the training. So all of the images that will be required will be augmented during the training process. So we will go on to step number six. Now, step number six is basically, uh, as I've mentioned, it's pre-processing. So again, we will go to utilities and over here, we are going to uh, write our function pre-processing. And we are going to give in an image and we want to pre-process it. Now, why do we need to pre-process? There's a lot of reasons for that. The first one, if we look at our image, we want to crop, we don't want the car itself in our image so what we can do is and also we don't want uh, the background which is our mountains or trees in our image so what we can do is we can crop out only the road region so that we are not getting any of the details th that is not required in our image so here we will first crop so we'll say image is equals to image and we want to define the cropping region so we want to uh, define the height so we are going to say start from 60 and go till 135 and we don't want to change the rest so if we copy actually this and and instead of augment we are going to pre-process now and we are going to return re turn our image and we are not returning the staring so that's why we will remove that so if we run this now what is that two were given where oh I forgot to remove this so if we run it again Okay, we have another problem. What is that? Oh, okay, so we are not sending the path, we are sending the actual image, I forgot that. So we have to send in our actual image. So we can simply write, where is that function? So we can write this over here and that will import the image and then send it. And there you go so if we look at our original image this is our original image and this is the cropped one so you can see that we are only having the road now we don't have uh, the mountains or the car so we have cropped our height okay so this is the first step of pre-processing so the next step is basically changing our color space from RGB to YUV now why do we want to change the color space let me print this out and you will see why so image now uh, nvidia proposed this method of changing the color space and that's why we are using it but what is the logic behind it let's have a look at that as well so we will write here cv2 dot cvt color and we want to change our color space so we will write image and cv2 cv2 dot color then we will write underscore rgb2 we are going to write to YUV and let's print this out and there you go so now that you can see our image from before and now you can see that our lane lines are actually more visible so if you look at the path it's much more clear what's going on so uh, comparing this image to this image you can 
better define where the lane lines are and where the path is. So this helps uh, in better generalization of our road. Then we are going to add a little bit of blur. So we will say image is equals to cv 2 blur, And then we are going to send in our image. We have to give in a kernel size. We will say 3 by 3, let's say. And we will give the sigma x as 0. Then uh, we have to resize our image because NVIDIA used the size of 200 by 66. So we will use the same. So image is equals to cv2 dot resize and we want to resize it. Uh, we want to resize our image and we want to resize it from 2 to 200 to 66. And the last thing is basically normalization. Normalization is basically ranging your values from 0 to 1. So right now we have the values from 0 to 255. So we are going to uh, divide it by 255 to just to normalize it. So now that we are done with pre-processing, we will move on to the seventh step, which is batch generator. Now, the idea here is that we do not send all of the images together to our training uh, model. What we do is we send the images in batches. So this helps in generalization and it gives us more freedom to how we can uh, create our images and how we can send them to our model. So what we can do is uh, before actually sending it to the model, we should augment our image and we should also pre-process our image. So what we will do is we will create a function that will take in the images path that we defined earlier. So it will take in the images path and the stating values. So then we can, for example, define that we need a batch of 100 images. And from these uh, images path and staining list, it will take out uh, 100 random images and then it will augment it and pre-process it and send it to our model. So to do this, we are going to go to our utilities and here we are going to define our batch generator. And as I mentioned, we are going to input the images, images path. And then we will also have the staring list and then we will have the batch size. So now we will write while true, while true, we are going to create an image batch list. Uh, or let's just say image batch. And then we are going to write down our staring batch now we are going to loop so we will say that for i in range of batch size because that's how many images we need we are going to find an index so this index will be generated randomly so we will write here random so it will grab any image dot rand int uh, did we import random no so let's import random so let's go back and random dot rand int and then we have to uh, define zero and then the length of our images path images path minus one uh, so basically this is how many images we have in total the length of this uh, list will be how many images we have in total so we will take uh, one image from a random image and we will get the index of this image so once we have that index we are going to write image and we are going to write staring is equals to augment image and then we are going to write the image path image no images path images path because if you remember in the augment image we have to send image path and then we have to send the stating so uh, 
we are going to send the images path at index the one that we just randomized and then the staring list again the one we found so this will augment that image and once that is done we are going to apply the pre-processing as we discussed earlier so we will write here image is equals to pre-processing and we will send in our image and then we will append so we will write image batch so we are going to append these two so image batch dot append and we are going to send in our image and then we will append the staring batch dot append and we will append the staring stay why are there two brackets so basically uh, all of this is for one image so we are going to repeat this again and again until the batch size so that's why we are appending uh, to this list and later on we can send this list back so we can because this is a generator we are going to yield yield and we don't want to send um, if you remember when we where was it um, I think it was here so when we were doing load data uh, once we had our list we converted it into numpy array so this is what we are going to do again as well so we are going to convert this uh, so these two again they are list we are going to convert it into numpy uh, arrays the spelling of yield are wrong and then we are going to write here that numpy dot as array and then we will send in our image batch and then we are going to also send our numpy dot as array and we will send in our staring batch so this will send out the values of uh, for example if we requested 100 images it will create these list of 100 images along with the staring values and then it will send them out and before it does that it will apply the augmentation and the pre-processing but the problem here is that we don't want to uh, augment our validation images because we are going to use the same batch generator to train our uh, model and then to test our model so during the validation process we are still going to ask for uh, to generate a batch but we don't want the validation batch to be uh, what do you call uh, augmented so we can create a flag here and we can say that train flag and we can say that over here that if train flag is true then we are going to apply this uh, this is the augmentation if it's not true now the thing is uh, we are not importing the image in pre-processing we are importing it in image augmentation if you go back here we are importing the image in image augmentation so if we are using the validation if this is false it will not import the image so we have to define that so we will write here else uh, we want to import our image so image will be uh, this will be images path spot as index whatever we found uh, whatever we generated actually and then it will be the staring is equals to uh, because we need both image and staring that's why we are writing this so staring uh, list at again the index so now if we put this as true it will augment the images as well if we put this as false it will not augment the images it will just uh, load them and send it uh, after pre-processing so this is it for today's video in the next part we are going to create and compile the model proposed by nvidia 
If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.